everyone. I am back with a, another Kathy King tutorial, Picture Perfect Volume 4. Right now I'm showing you the cover. I played with a lot of dyes and some little flowers. And all this paper came from Hobby Lobby, including those poinsettia flowers. This is a spine with a poinsettia flower. Love that. And the back, as you can tell, I was in a plaid mood. I think it's so pretty. The entire paper line, just one paper line, came from Hobby Lobby and was used in this tutorial. That's a nice tag on the inside pocket. And over here, th this little die cut piece flips out with the magnet showing. Inside, photo opportunity, photo opportunity, and a journaling spot. You flip it back, you flip it over here. I'm just playing with paper, can add a photograph above that. Here is the acetate pocket on the right side and it is magnetized. The magnet is under that little tab. In there you can add photos, tags, die cut pieces, anything, or just leave it as is. Sometimes I like to do that too. Here is that page assembly that comes, folds in many, many ways. And, uh, and that right side, I'm trying to mimic a snow globe with those circle dies. Here are two die, die cut pieces tucked behind another die cut piece that's acting like a mini pocket. And this flips out, photo opportunity, a die cut, uh, die card. Photo opportunity, another card. Photo opportunity and another journaling card. I'm calling it a die card, journaling card. There we go with a tag. And you can tuck a photograph underneath that banner strip. Flip it back over. So that holds a lot of photographs right there. Flip it again, here's a photo opportunity. And the, the card removes, and look at that paper with the car with the tree. That's me every year, I pick up my tree at Costco. <laughs> Christmas tree on the left, photo opportunity. The folks skating, and those trees, that's um, Tim Holtz die. Love that die, guess you'll see it every year because I like to use it all the time. There's another photo spot, and just playing with paper and layering it up just to add some variety. There's a little four by four card that flips out. And here we have a photo opportunity, photo opportunity, balanced with some cards. You can either leave it that way or flip the small card on top. I prefer it that way. And I just love, yes again, my plaid paper. The back there, that's another spot that you could use photos or just leave it as is. There's that sweater paper. I call it the sweater paper. Flip it over, it is magnetized again, and it can hold some things. I wouldn't say it can hold a lot of things. This is that page assembly. All these, each page assembly does repeat itself. There's a tag, open it out, open it out. Just showing you, you know, um, I think this was like the, the first day of Christmas, all the way up to the 12th day of Christmas paper. It's very interesting. Flip it out there, photo opportunity, photo opportunity. So you can get a lot of photographs in here. If you leave it blank, you can get a lot of photographs. Don't mat and then put a ton of photographs in there. The book will get too bulky. The right side here, here I am trying to do that snow globe again with the circle die and the acetate. There's a little side loading pocket that can fit a tag or a bunch or two or three photographs. Flip it over, sweater paper, sweater weather in Florida. Haha, <laughs> don't think so. Flip that out. That's a photo opportunity right there. Tuck under two two by two um, cards. There we go, you can add more photos or just enjoy the paper and keep the photograph onto the outer edges. Again, there's a, a removable photo mat and the two by two cards, which I really like. I like stacking the two by two. That's a, that's a new thing, making it into a pocket. There's a photo opportunity there. Here, that's that little flip out with that poinsettia flower, all from Hobby Lobby. So you can get it on sale. And I think this was their Paper Studios brand too, which is nice. So you have ways of, of how you want this album to fold. Love that paper on the back. Simple, but beautiful. If you don't like it, put a photo on top of it. Another acetate pocket that you can slide. Tags, photographs, anything you feel like. Close that up and it's nice and tight with the magnets. Here, sweater paper. Flip out, flip out, you can change it up if you want, change your orientation, whichever paper you want to see first, photo opportunity, photo opportunity. Flip it out again, 
another photo opportunity. So this is like, uh, it's just, it's just fun to flip, flip and flip all the different ways. I don't know if, if you were giving this as a gift to somebody who is a non-crafter, maybe not add so many folds, which is less work anyway, right? All right here, this is a double pocket. So we have the acetate pocket there, and then we have the slide, side loading pocket, both of them with tags and a little Christmas tree paper. Also added some stickers again, Hobby Lobby. And here, this is just enjoying the paper. Can leave it as is. I did break it up by adding those two little strips. I think those were like quarter inch strips. Here, that's a photo opportunity there. Added a little ba banner die just to sort of break it up. If you don't like the ornament paper, I was on the fence with it too. Put a photo in front of it. If it bothers you like the ornaments are too big, it doesn't go with it. Just put a photo on top of it and everything will be fine. Flip it over, there goes my cars again. That's a triple matted photo, gold, green, and white. This is the inside back pocket with a tag. So I put one tag in the front, one tag in the back. It's um, not the biggest pocket, so you could put may maybe two or three, but I wouldn't put too, too many things in there. That's the back of the book, pardon my phone, <laughs> the spine and the cover. Thank you so much for watching Christmas in October. Take care. Until next time.